Hey guys, in this session we're going to be calculating the discriminant and looking at the state of uh, the nature of the roots. Uh, this is part two in this uh, short discriminant series. Uh, so make sure you check out the rest of the videos in the level two algebra skills playlist on my channel. So let's get started with this question. Uh, what we've got here is with question A. The first thing we need to do is we need to rearrange. So we're going to rearrange this to be 2x squared plus 6x plus 9, and that's now equal to 0. Next, we have our A value. Uh, we've got our B value, which is positive 6, and C value, which is positive 9. Now remember that your quadratic general equation of a quadratic function is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. So this is how I know what my a, b, c values are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out b squared minus 4ac, which is the discriminant. And I've got here as 6 squared minus 4 times 2 uh, times 9. Uh, this is going to give me 36, take away 72. And what I've got here is negative 36. And because the discriminant is a negative number, because it's less than uh, 0, we can say that there are no real roots or solutions in this case. So that's question A. Now we look at question B. Um, and I know in the previous video I talked about like sometimes you get you guys get given two quadratics and then you'll get to ask you, you'll be asked whether it intersects in two places, one place or none at all. So if you just take a little brief little moment here, if you think about this x squared graph, the x squared graph is going to look like this. Uh, the minus 3x squared graph is going to look like this and we're trying to figure out whether they're going to um, intersect twice, once or no no intersection at all. All right, And the way we're going to do that is by working out, putting these equations together and working out the discriminant. So when we do this, uh, we're going to have to rearrange first. So we've got x squared plus 4x minus 5. And then I'm going to rearrange the 3x squared and 6x, which will make positive 3x squared minus 6x. And all of that is now equal to 0. So collecting my like terms, I've got 4x squared minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. So once again, I'm going to take my a value as positive 4, b as negative 2, and c as negative 5. So I'm going to put this in my discriminant formula, which is b squared minus 4ac. I've got negative 2 squared minus 4 times 4 times negative 5. And when I do this, I get 4 uh, plus 80, and my discriminant is 84. Now you know that in the previous question I wrote b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. Um, I could also do it like this, um, the little symbol for discriminant, which is uh, the triangle is greater than 0. Um, but if you're like not sure, I mean, you're more than welcome to just go b squared minus 4ac is positive. So anything to say that the discriminant is positive, uh, therefore there are two real roots or solutions in this case. Cool guys, so this question has popped up every now and then in the um, level 2 exam as well. Um, it is worth knowing that for it ends up being like a merit question and sometimes like you have to actually give that reason that I've given in the second to last line. I'll kind of show you guys this part right here. You have to actually show the reason and actually um, <clears throat> tell what's happening to get the full grade. Um, the part that's actually highlighted in green, those are just like three different ways of writing it. Uh, so feel free to kind of use whichever one you feel comfortable with in writing. Hey guys, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Uh, there should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. Good revision material. And as always, thank you for watching.